Hello guys, watch and see how I did this mkwabi. This is a favorite, delicious, tasty, traditional Igbo dish and enjoy with your family. Watch and see. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Watch and see how I got this. This mkwabi. Watch to the end. Thank you. God bless you. Stay to the end. Hi guys, welcome back to Amaka Glorious Kitchen. Today we have another special delicacy. If you are coming across this channel for the first time, guys, you are welcome. Just stay, press subscribe and bell button so that you get notification anytime I upload videos. And for all the return subscribers, thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you for coming back, for staying, for viewing, for sharing. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. God bless you. Today, I have a very popular dish from Igbo land, Nigeria. This Mkwabi is Mkwabi. is favorite for all men every evening. Evening dish that after business, they run to wherever they will eat this Mkwabi with their deku. Even at home, all the wives, everybody in Igbo land, they try to prepare this special dish for their husband. And guys, today I'm going to show you how I will do that unkobi. But first, we'll boil. In every unkobi, you can use any other meat, but the main one is the cow food. I've washed this cow food. I've washed it very well, and it's in a pot now to be cooked. This, I will cook it for 50 minutes at least, because you want the cow food to be chewable. So what I have here is my washed cow food, only ingredient again you need in this cooking of this uh, cow food is your salt, your onions, and the maggi. It just maggi. Sometimes you can, you may feel to add while cooking the cow food to add pepper. But for today recipe, I'm just I'm not adding pepper. I'm just boiling it like this. This, this is specially requested for most of the viewers. I'm I can do unkwabi. And here I am. Just then I add water because I need to add more water because I have to cook it for at least 45 15 minutes so that it will be well cooked. So when you add this, then you take it to the, your stove or take it to your gas. Guys, I put my light on and cover it. This I'll cook for 45 50 minutes to get that chewable. Oh, 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 you can call it cow food. Some use you can feel free to use your goat's feet, whatever you want to use. But this is our popular favorite dish, evening dish that people, men, once they finish, they want to have it for their weekend. You see it in parties, but this is our favorite. So just watch and see how I'll come up with that unkwabi. Guys, for the unkwabi, the one we've started, look at the cow food is ready. I've removed all the bits of the oil. I've cut it out. It's chewable. It's well done. We have a uhu ehi. That is our cow food. We have potash. That this potash, I've missed it here. I've missed some that I will use in the water, and uh, that is what I will use to take in it. I have my uba. This is a native. Unkwabi without uba is not unkwabi. I have told you this is very favorite and popular in Igbo land. Every evening, evening, man, weekend, this is what men go for, and we wives we know how to do it. We can, for all the Igbo wives, they know how to do this for their husband. Then, the red oil, this is there. This is oil. And then, the onions, I've gotten it ready. The onions I'm going to use, the maggi, the crawfish, the ehu. This is a calabash nutmeg, and 
three i'm going to use three this is the one that is peel off this one is not peel off and then i'm going to use cottage bonnet three you know because it's good to be spicy but just you know this test of your family just don't put too much and then this is my leaf you know here it's not easy we don't get a uh, fresh leaf and our cousin this we have to manage this this is a fresh one but it's frozen so guys let's start today i want to do it the native way i'll do it native way in the sense i would like to pound if you don't have this you can blend it i would like to pound my pepper to get that that test i'll pound my pepper then the ehu i'll try to pound it instead of blending it but feel free to uh, feel free to blend it i also pound my crawfish so let's go this has been washed i will because this one is harder guys i will pound it first welcome to my kitchen guys if you don't have this at home just feel free to blend it yeah, as you can see i brought out the blender but i just want to get that that's woo the smell guys now the egg is ready then i don't want the pepper too much so first of all i'll do i'll try to do the crawfish same way so my crawfish i have to add it and blend it before my pepper i don't want my pepper too i don't want my pepper too blended i don't want it i want it a bit like and uh, dies a bit so my crawfish first if you don't have this at home feel free to blend them guys my pepper i'll just grind the pepper i don't want to grind it too much just a bit so guys as you can see i don't want to blend it much i want to get that taste of Igbo traditional unkobi. so i'll add i'm using sea salt so i'll add a bit of sea salt so that i'll blend it together so I'll grind it together. This is what I'm looking for, guys. This is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for, guys. So, guys, it depends on what you want to do. Then, for me, I'm adding my oil before my potash. I'll add the oil. Then, add my maggi. Guys, oh, I'm not in Igbo land. Oh, this thing, you can use this one even to eat your roasted yam. Hmm. Then I'll add my potash. I'll just mix them all together. Bad in our native way. Just make sure you mix it very well. Well, miss, I have diced onions, so just feel free. I put the diced one. This one is the for the decoration. I put my oba, and I miss it. At this time, I'll put my umpobi, all the umpobi, put it here. Just feel free to transfer it. At this time, I can transfer it in a small bowl. And then miss it there. 
I'll transfer it in something and miss it. Transfer it to a bigger thing. Because I'm doing for the whole family. Now, transfer it all. This is special dish, guys. Just try this and enjoy with your family. Guys, just mix them together. My this my uh odo is too small. If not, I should have missed all of them there, but it's too small. So you feel free to transfer it and transfer it to a bigger something because it's for the family, so that I will get that uh mixture. Yes. This is our native oba mixed with the unpumped Guys, just mix this, mix it very well. Wow. Guys, as you can see here, our unkobi is ready, ready. This is a special dish in Igbo land. I just decided to do it this way. Guys, try this and enjoy with your family. The otaze, in Africa we get fresh otaze. But here, you see the one I have? <laughs> it's fresh but it's frozen. That is what we're going to use. And just... Put the tazi, feel free to put the tazi on the on top of it. Wow, this is a dish to tell. This is a dish to talk about. This is a dish for the weekend. This is a dish for your husband. This is a dish for that special yoga, that special event. Whatever you are doing, this is a dish that you have to enjoy with your family. Wow, guys. Wow, this is a special dish for you guys. Try this and enjoy with your family. And keep that drink by the side. Chill drink. As you eat, just steam up the drink. Guys, if you are coming across the channel for the first time, you are welcome. Just stay, press subscribe and bell button so that you get notification anytime I upload videos. And for all the return subscribers, you are welcome. Just stay. God bless you. Thanks for viewing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for everything. Thanks for your support. I appreciate you all. And uh, for my 3,000 subscribers, woo, shout out. God bless you all.